A chaotic scene inside Alexandria High School's Mini Howard campus. Punches, pushes, and profanity seen here in this video obtained by Telemundo 44. A student who claims to have witnessed and recorded the brawl shared the video. His mother gave Telemundo 44 and News 4 permission to air it. Amazingly, no one was seriously hurt. We did have additional presence at the school just to make sure, you know, everybody feels safe, everybody knows we're present, everybody knows we're trying to work with you to create a safe environment. The school's principal sent out an email to parents in which he stated that the school was not placed on lockdown despite rumors that were circulating on social media. But he did say that the regular schedule was paused as administrators, security guards, and officers with the Alexandria Police Department worked to determine that there was no longer a threat. I find it very disturbing that the kids have uh, no control of themselves and parents have no insight to what their children are doing outside of home or school. Trip Duke manages a store at Bradley Shopping Center. The same shopping center where last May, Alexandria City High School student Luis Mejia Hernandez was stabbed and killed during a large fight. The shopping center is only a few blocks away from the school. Duke says teens will often misbehave at stores and things haven't gotten better. He hopes more will be done to increase security. We have customers that don't come for that reason. I have staff here that don't want to stay past dark because they're afraid of what might be happening outside. We requested an on-camera interview with ACPS's superintendent, but we're told they couldn't make that happen today. When we requested a comment, they referred us to the letter that was sent by the school's principal. The letter states, quote, ACPS and school officials will address issues of student conduct and responsibility and, as necessary, involve the APD. The safety of our students and staff is a top priority for ACPS, end quote. Police say the brawl is still under investigation and more arrests could be made. The department says beefed up security is one part of the solution, but it's going to take a community-wide effort to stop the violence. Try to help people come to a peaceful agreement. You know, be an active participant in peace, not just someone who's watching, recording, and then uploading. In Alexandria, Mauricio Casillas, News 4. Now, the ACPS school board is hosting a special meeting tonight at 630. News 4 will let you know if any action is taken as a result of that brawl on Monday.